Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video and today we have got FIFA 17 potential downgrades. So these are all potential downgrades that I personally think that could be downgraded and these are only the BPL guys. So if you want me to do another video maybe based just on Bundesliga, League VBA, blah blah blah. I don't you know watch that much other leagues other than the BPL because obviously it's the main league. But if you want to see other ones of course comment down below. Obviously if you want to see the, uh, some upgrades I personally think comment down below as well. Like the video, subscribe if you are new and let's get straight into the video. First up, we've got Mertzaka. Now, he he's just terrible, really. Arsenal fans don't really like him, that I know of. All the Arsenal fans that I know just don't like him because he's a terrible player. Of course, he's known for being so slow, but he just isn't that good. Towards the end of the season, Gabriel used to play above him, and Gabriel's not really the best of players either, to be honest. Arsenal just need to sort out their back line. They've got that one centre-back that they need to improve. They need to get it somewhere. Hopefully, they... Well, hopefully not because I don't like Arsenal, but hopefully... From their point of view, they get a good centre-back very soon. Next up, we've got Eden Hazard. Now, this one absolutely it absolutely pains me to say this, but he's not been what he normally is as he this season. He's just been invisible, really. He's an 89 rated normally. He had one in form towards the end of the season as he started picking up his form a little bit. And in the Euros as well, he's not done too bad either. But from an 89 rated, considering more than three quarters of his season, he was just terrible. I reckon he'd go down to maybe like an 88, 87. They don't want to downgrade him too much because... He's getting back up there again, like the Euros, if he does win the Euros, I don't think they can drop him too much. But obviously, he has the potential to be one of the best players in the world. Maybe like, he could soon, in like maybe a few years time, be a 91, 92 like, default player. Next up, we've got the guy that did get relegated, it is Lescott. Now, Aston Villa have been terrible, we all know it. They've got how many points? Like, it was like 13 points, I think it was. That is one of the lowest it's ever been, except for my first derby that got 8 points once, which is just, how can you get 8 points in 38 games? Lescott was one of the main people why they were so bad. Obviously, they couldn't finish in front of goal, but Lescott in defence, it's just embarrassing. He was so, so bad. He used to be a very good centre-back. I think he used to play for Man City, I think it was. He used to be a decent centre-back, but now he's just a no. Next up, we've got Yaya Torre. Now, this guy is a very good player. We all know his quality. He can be sometimes a game changer on his day, but this, well, last season, Torre has not been at it. Colo Torre's even been better than him, and that's saying something, because Colo Torre is a load of rubbish. He definitely deserves a downgrade, maybe like an 84, maybe, I'm not too sure, not too low, because he does have potential. Maybe he will be moving clubs soon, because Guardiola is in charge, and he does not like Guardiola, does he? From the, from the Barcelona days when he sold him, he doesn't want to be under him. Let's start with the Os... Okay, no, we're just gonna go back. I don't know what I'm doing. There you go. There he is. Back we are with Oscar, and as you can see, he's got no face. How could this happen to me? They've basically shown him how he has been this whole campaign. He's been like Hazard. He's been a bit invisible. That's why Chelsea have just done so bad this season. Some of their top forming players just haven't done it. Oscar is one of them players that you want him to do well, but he just isn't. I, I honestly, as a Chelsea fan, I don't think he's that good of a player. He used to be all right, like. Two seasons ago, when he first joined the club, he was a very good player. But he's just, you know, lacked off a bit. He doesn't start much. Chelsea probably are going to sell him very soon. Juventus were interested. I think it was last year, but we didn't sell him. But I think Chelsea should get rid of him now and invest in a, a bigger and better player. And so we've got Juan Mata. Now, he is a controversial one because back in Chelsea, he was a very good player. Mourinho came, Mourinho did not like him, benched him. He had a bit of a whole season where he was just benched. Man United signed him up, he's done it right to start off with. And then he's just kind of dropped off a bit, Van Gaal's gradually gotten worse and worse. And now Mourinho's back in charge, and he's in charge of Mata at Man United. So Mata will probably be going to another club, but I won't be surprised if he goes down to like an 82 rated, because he's a very good player, got very good technique, his left foot is incredible. But I can't see him going up anytime soon. Let's hope we got a guy that doesn't really play much in the BPL, it was Ibarbo. He was only there for about, I think, like a few months, and then he left straight away after. He played, I think, like one or two games for Watford, and he did absolutely nothing. In real life, honestly, he's one of them players that in real life is terrible, but in FIFA, they're incredible. I don't know how, I don't know why they do this for FIFA. Some players on this game, they're so overpowered, but they shouldn't be because they're so bad in real life. He's got the pace, but that that's about it. Loic Remy, now... This is a bit of a weird one. I've said that about so many people. But he has so much potential. When he played for Newcastle, he's a very good player. When he played for... He played for another team. And he was good. I know he was good. I remember, but I don't remember what team it was. But anyway, he's a very good finisher. He has the pace. He has a great shot in him at times. He's a bit inconsistent. But Chelsea didn't play him that much this season. Obviously, Costa was the main man up front. And then... Traore came in towards the end, but Remy is a good player. He just needs to go out to one of them clubs, like a middle table kind of clubs. He's a very good player. 
but he's not the most consistent. And then last up, we've got Memphis Depay. Now, we all know, when you see a downgrade video, he has to be in it. He's been absolutely atrocious this whole season. An 82 rating for him, it doesn't seem too high, but that is very generous considering the season he just had. 81 shooting, I don't think, he, how many goals did he get a season in BPL? About one or two? And he was, at the beginning of the season, meant to be tipped for the next Ronaldo. All the Man United fans were hailing him when he came. They were all just like, oh my god, bang out, you lad, you've brought in one of the best players that could potentially be in the world soon. He's still very young, and there's a fly next to me, but he's still very young. He still has time to, you know, improve and get better. But at Man United, he's not doing his job. So guys, that is the whole team all together. There's a few more players, e.g. I think David Silva hasn't been the greatest of players either. I was going to put him in, but I thought, don't want to get too much hate of the Man City fans. But if you have enjoyed the video, if you have, drop a like, that'd be sick. If you want to see an upgrade video of the BPL, make sure you comment that down below. Subscribe if you're into the channel. And it's been more legend. Please like, subscribe, and see ya. Come on, why are they all gold? 12 minutes in. There's, one, there's been one in form in 13 minutes. But... Oh my god, they look incredible. Like, the Iron Man of the Match cards on his own look sick. But look at that, 90 pace, 90 shot, 88 passing, 93 dribbling, 68 physical. Pretty incredible, I'm not gonna lie.